India, a fascinating country, home to the most stunning culture and the world's best cricket players. But I love India for its hectic and exciting aviation market, one of the most competitive and difficult in the world. Decades ago, Air India showed the world how amazing and glamorous flying can be. But with the end of Jet Airways and Kingfisher, and a struggling national airline, the country was left behind with only budget airlines that have been dominating the skies of India. So all hope lies for Fistara. After two years, I'm back in India, so please join my aviation tour, introducing a new regional airline called Star Air, checking in on my old friends of Indigo and Air India. I also tried Go First, formerly known as Go Air, and of course I also had to check whether the flying beast was right about Air Asia. But most Thank importantly, <laughs> I was checking on the star's progress, trying their brand new Airbus 321 in its fancy flatbed, as well as their Dreamliner in business class, with some rather shocking and disappointing results. But today, let's start my India Aviation Tour 2021 with a trip on the Air Economy class on a 9 hour flight from London to Delhi. With, of course, a lot of surprises. This is a secret for so long. Guys, beautiful good evening from London Heathrow and I'm super delighted to announce that this today is the start of my four weeks India aviation tour, which I'm super excited about. And there's no better airline to kick off this very exciting tour than Vistara on the 787 Dreamliner all the way to Delhi, an airline that has been requested hundreds, of thousands of times. So finally, here I am, deliver. So let's do this, let's go to Delhi. So and here I am inside Terminal 3. Look how deserted it is. Usually it's one of the busier terminals, but I have a rather difficult relation with Vistara. I had an amazing flight. I had a shocking flight, but let me tell you the whole story. On my first flight in 2018, they knew that I was coming and I received the whole Sam Chui PR shit show. And the video was watched over 3 million times. A year later, I came unannounced and I got to see the real face of the star. I was told not to film, and one crew member even called me annoying, for which the airline apologized later. Even the former CCO, Sanjeev Kapoor, was so pissed off by my review that he unfollowed me on Twitter. A few weeks later, he was let go, for whatever reason. But now let's check in for a 9-hour Vistara economy class experience. So I'm all checked in. The documentation you need to enter India is insane. PCR test, registration, business visa only. Uh, so quite a hassle. But he also said the flight is going to be quite busy. I checked expert flight. The seat next to me is still free. I hope it's going to stay this way. But recently I met up with the CEO of Qatar Airways, uh, Mr. Albaka, and we talked about Vistara as well. And he claims that Vistara was his idea. Listen to this. Yeah, we started actually teamed up when I approached um, uh, the Mr. Tata. They were already. So you took your idea and uh, said, "Okay, let's do Singapore Airlines." Uh, uh, it was to do Singapore Airlines. I don't think it was uh, my friend Mr. Ratan Tata's decision. It was taken by a, an individual that became the chairman, taking over from. Mr. Ratantata. And then, of course, Mr. Ratantata then had a boardroom coup and took over the chairmanship again from him. That is the person. And actually, that person and uh, Mr. Tata came to visit my office, talked to them about the idea of forming an airline in India and the potential it has. And we were ready to do it with them. And this other individual took that idea and then did the, the, the JV with Air Asia and then with the star. So I'm on my way to the gate. How do I feel? I feel super excited to try this product because everybody is raving about it in India. Uh, and 
it's very interesting for me to review because I haven't been to India for so long. But I also feel very anxious and a bit worried about how the crew is going to react because it's not a camera friendly airline, right? Especially for my previous um, experiences. So I don't know exactly what to expect. I don't want to piss anyone off. I don't want to annoy anyone. So that's where I feel a bit uneasy about. But perhaps I have a great crew. Perhaps I'm going to have an even worse crew. But I'm sure we're going to find out. I and mean, that's what I love about those unbiased, unannounced airline reviews, unlike others, that you never know what you get. And then all of a sudden, at the gate, this review took a massive plot twist. Listen to this. So I'm at the gate, I don't know whether you recognize me. I have to wear a face shield here at the gate and during boarding. Uh, that's the rule. I don't know what it's like during the flight. Um, but yeah, you think the pandemic is over, but here on Vistara, they still have face shields. Qatar Airways had it for some time in the beginning of the pandemic. Uh, but yeah, better safe than sorry. So a bit of a problem when I was in the line outside, just before entering the gate, there was a guy giving out the face shield, really nice guy. And then um, he looked at me and he said, are you Mr. Cahill? And I was like, maybe I am. And he's like, yeah, I don't know. You don't, I'm not sure if it's you or not. And he didn't say anything else. So I did, he just recognized me, which is, happens quite often these days in all humbleness. Or they know, and my cover has been blown because I didn't try to, I didn't tell anyone, right? That I'll be flying with Dara. I kept it as a secret for so long. And that means either there's going to be a total PR shit show and they're brief, they know they're coming. I don't know, we'll figure out. But usually I have a quite of a good nose. I can tell when crew is putting on a show and when they don't. All right, let's go. Let's go to Delhi. Hi, how are you? It was then time to good, board good, the Vistar good. Dreamliner. And of uh, December 2021, the airline is currently operating two of them with four more to join the fleet. The 787 is currently serving London, Frankfurt, and since last month, also Paris. Direct flights to the US are also in the pipeline. The plane features 30 seats in business class and 21 in premium economy, as well as 248 in a 333 configuration in economy class. So guys, welcome on board this beautiful, stunning Dreamliner cabin. It is amazing. It is the best economy class in all of India, that is for sure by the first impression, uh, by the hard product. I mean, you can only compare it to Air India, which is the other one that has a white body. Uh, and their Dreamliner is technically falling apart. Not a nice product, but yeah, I'm pretty impressed. There's already a bottle of water at your seat. There's a blanket so far, so good. Very impressive, like really wanna see what uh, they serve, what kind of food it is, what options you have, what the in-flight entertainment is like, and like generally the service attitude which is usually a bit of a problem in India. I had cases with Jet Airways or Spice Jet or Vistara just recently. I wasn't too impressed. But well, let me give you a little seat tour and the seats are rather comfortable and come with a foldable table. But the personal entertainment is rather underwhelming with only 30 movies in total and almost no western choice. A blanket and a bottle of water were already ready at my seat. And I'm still very hopeful that maybe not just even the seat here stays free. According to the seat map, it should. But maybe that I have an entire row to myself. That would be the total jackpot. But yeah, flight time is roughly 8 hours. And uh, I'll be landing tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. in Delhi. So I happened to have a really nice guy sitting next to me when I mean, he just went to the uh, bathroom and his son follows me on YouTube. <laughs> what a coincidence. Also the crew came, introduced herself and she said, welcome back on Vistara. So I guess they are on their toes. They knew that I was coming, but... All right, good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to all of you. Welcome on the South Line UK. That is a weird noise. Zero one seven nine two. Uh, you're on YouTube now, hey? <laughs> I just said your son is following me on uh, on YouTube, so... Oh, fabulous! <laughs> the 
safety video was shown and we were then pushed back for an on-time departure out of London Heathrow. My first call of action after takeoff was to connect to the internet and at the moment Vistara offers the service for free, which I think is a very generous thing to do. So we are 15 minutes, 20 minutes into the flight. I can smell some food already, which is pretty nice. Um, <laughs> the passenger in front of me, he reclined his seat, uh, but before he did so, he asked me if it was okay. It's so considerate, so nice. Uh, I wish everyone was like him. So, but this is the recline situation. As you can see, so I'm fully reclined. Um, also, the seat pitch is pretty decent. And you'd be probably wondering, hey, Josh, okay, you do economy right now. How about uh, the business class? Well, I'll be flying Delhi, Frankfurt back on Vistara in a couple of weeks. And that's when I give you the full business class experience. But for now, we're going to stick to uh, economy. I'll also be flying there 321. Uh, Neo, which has also like a flat bat uh, economy, economy class, flat bat economy class, that would be amazing. Uh, no, it has a flat bat business class there as well. So they're flying this bird between Doha, Delhi, Dubai, and uh, domestically as well. So I'll be flying it domestically from uh, I think Delhi to Bangalore. And then it was time for our dinner. Also, we are half an hour into the flight, we'll ride over Frankfurt, it's quite bumpy, a lot of turbulence here, but uh, dinner service just started and we had a choice between uh, vegetarian and non-vegetarian, so chicken, pretty much as you can see, a nice dessert. And also in terms of drinks, you could choose between a can of Carlsberg or an orange juice and then there's some water, that's, that's literally all they have. Might still be restrictions, but it's a nice choice, isn't it? Uh, so I obviously went for the orange juice, because if I'm gonna start drinking beer, I need to go pee literally every half an hour. That's uh, the downside. Ron, how's the food? Good, yeah? <laughs> okay, good, great. So I'm gonna try now as well. as well. Let's see what it tastes like. So guys, the meal was pretty alright, but I'm not joking, this dessert here, the tiramisu, is amazing. And I do think we have a winner for the dessert of the year, uh, which went to Smart Wings last year, the year before South African Airways won it. And this year, I mean, other, unless something really mind-blowing happens in terms of catering the next four weeks, then this is the winner. Congratulations, Vistara. Dessert of the year goes to you. That's really good. That is so good. Is it really that good? That is really good. Now, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not joking. Really? That is pretty good. All right, you're going to try it and you tell me if I'm, if I'm full of shit or not. <laughs> what do you give it? Out of 10. Good that dessert, right? It's actually quite good. There we go. I wasn't making it up. And after the beautiful dessert, which I truly enjoyed, it was time for the Lou review. Just a really quick Lou review because there's a lot of people waiting outside, but uh, they don't have any Lou's in the back, which is quite interesting. I haven't seen this on uh, on a Dreamliner from my observation at least. Uh, though they have three in the middle, in the center here, and probably some in the front. Uh, but this is what it looks like. Nothing really special, but... But yeah, I don't want to like uh, take any more time because there's people waiting outside. It was then time for a little nap, and I woke up right for breakfast. So guys, beautiful good morning. Just woke up. Probably slept for like two or three hours. Um, but also waking up, you realize the cabin is totally out of control. 
there's people sitting in the row behind me and there's two rows that were initially blocked which I picked the seat um, and then was moved here and now crew doesn't care anymore doesn't enforce the rules anymore so guys beautiful good morning it's time for breakfast uh, once again vegetarian and non-vegetarian option I went for the omelette with hash browns I reckon that's at least what I identify it as, as. so um, no coffee no tea apparently reduced service because of COVID but uh, it's a shame but that's <laughs> those are the rules um, but yeah let's see what it tastes like Twenty-eight minutes to go, and then we're going to be uh, on the ground in Delhi. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a full summary of today's flight. Uh, very interesting, very, very different experience, definitely to my last flight. And yeah, I can't wait to share my thoughts with you guys uh, once I'm on the ground. We then descended into a very, very polluted Delhi, but very little visibility. But the moment I touched down again in India was full of emotions and joy and I was incredibly happy to be back in one of my favorite countries in the world. But now also let me talk you through the arrival process when you come back to India. So I took the first obstacle, right at the gate they check your vaccine certificate and they want to see your boarding pass and then you get your boarding pass stamped because they determine whether you have to get a test on arrival or whether you just have to self-monitor your health for 14 days. So I'm literally going to immigration now and I'm good to roam around the country. All good. Get vaccine. And that's it, I'm inside the country. So happy to be back in India. Now well, let's grab my bag. So guys, and that was the very first video of my India tour. And in the meanwhile, I am back. I am in Sri Lanka now, but let me tell you, I had an amazing time in India. And there is a lot of great content coming, so make sure uh, you subscribe right now so you don't miss out. It was a fantastic trip and I love India so much. I'm already missing it, but um, that is the beginning of the series. And how do I conclude my flight on Bastara? It's definitely the best hot product in all of India, but India is lacking, or Bastara is lacking competition. And India isn't a real competitor at the moment, though I'm very hopeful with the Tata takeover in January that things are gonna change. Um, unfortunately, the crew knew I was coming. They were nice, of course, but it felt more like a PR show. So I wasn't able to give you a real experience of what it's like, uh, especially when it comes to, to the crew. But I had two more flights on the star and both were absolutely shocking to say the least, considering that they celebrate themselves as India's um, best airline, especially in terms of crew. Um, it was rather disappointing but those two videos are coming so you can make your own um your uh, your own opinion i always strive to give you an honest review uh paid a lot of money for those flights and if you spend the same money i wanted to know what you get so today was a little bit of a different video but sometimes i don't have influence on these kind of things but i still hope that you enjoyed watching it but yeah, this is it. So if you want to make me a little Christmas present, uh, check out my Patreon. It'd be nice if you support my work. Um, I offer some great perks uh, in exchange. We have a WhatsApp group where we exchange uh, photos, trip reports, and uh, we have a really great community. We have monthly Zoom sessions, and your name is going to be mentioned in the end of the credits. It's a really cool community. So if you want to be part of it, and you want to uh, make me a little Christmas gift, uh, uh, consider joining me. Otherwise, like, subscribe, uh, share the video. That already helps me a lot. And honestly, I cannot wait to share uh, more of this India trip. It was a really, really good time. Guys, thank you so much for watching and wherever you're off to, have a safe trip. <laughs>